we're now on foot. I have to get the skis out. And to be honest, actually quite good snow for skiing. It's far easier to ski down near Rett near the right now. Those queues are massive. So in, in the two or three days of good hot weather that we had earlier in the week, the summer alpine climbing seasons finally kicked off properly. Some of the big mixed alpine routes have been getting done down now. It's not just the really easy access stuff like the Cosmic Corret. So more on that in a minute. But yeah, finally now some big alpine objectives are getting ticked off. So riding you've had a good overnight refreeze. It is cramping conditions now apart from today. So as of yesterday, June the 22nd, all the lifts which are going to open for the summer in the Chamonix Valley are now open. So that's the Nikita Midi, obviously, Monte Verz, Murder Glass, Revon Flagere, Prairion and Bellevue in the Zouche, lifts in the Tour of Bellocene as well, and actually the Boss on little old chairlift as well. So yeah, it is the summer season proper now. The only thing to bear in mind is the Plans Grand Gondola up at Argentier is not running this summer due to the construction works, although and 8.30 and again another window during the lunchtime slot so about 1.30 get people up and then there's one gondola down well one set of gondolas down at the end of the day between 5 and 6 p.m so if you are heading up into the Argentia Basin it is possible to take the gondola to get up but to be honest it's probably better just to walk up anyway and as for the climbing activity and the huts it's now possible to get up to the Albert Premier Hut up at the tour it's all snow free if you're coming from the lifts in the tour apart from the final moraine section that always holds snow for a good chunk of the summer really but the traverses are now snow free so you can approach from the lifts it's relatively safe the hut's open i believe all the easy classics in the, the tour basin have been getting done so Gita Tour, Petit Fourche, Tete Blanche etc even the Chardonnay as well when there's good, good overnight refreeze so yeah plenty of action up at the tour and of course conditions are still really good it's still tons of snow so it's good mixed conditions as long as there's a good overnight refreeze the glaciers are good as well into the Argentia basin there's not been any activity yet but the Argentia hut opened this weekend so we expect that to pick up now conditions on the Equite Argentia should be pretty good for all the classic easy mixed routes some of the rock routes it's probably still too much snow at the moment and I'd imagine a lot of the steep north facing big and ice lines are still too dry but yeah you can if you want to head up into the Argentia basin there's stuff to be done up there as well as for deeper into the massif so area around the cubicle hut and the show hut it's quite difficult to access now there's not enough snow to be worthwhile to do it on skis but there is still a lot of snow so conditions are kind of in between seasons at the moment it's a bit tricky but stuff is getting done the cubicle hut is open I think people have been doing the Wimpakua and the Givert when, again, the overnight refreeze allows. And also, fires of Val and some of the easier routes have been getting done. Le Corte, Le Droite, I've seen a few ascents. Don't expect to be much action on the Grand Jurass or the Petit Jurass yet. Although, when the weather actually improves, Petit Jurass should be quite good for rock climbing. The Envers and Rathan Huts, again, further down in the Massif, are open as well now. It is possible to access them, but again, lots of snow on the approaches so you need to take care especially on the wet slabs so you're gonna need axe and crampons to get there but you're gonna need axe and crampons anyway to get to any of the routes because still lots of snow the lower rock routes are dry now apart from today after fresh snow but they will dry out pretty quickly the higher routes which go up to the top of the Agui routes are a little bit mixed so conditions are still quite difficult at the moment but starting to approach the time where you can climb things like Aretta Ryan and the Mudglass Face, some routes like that. But yeah, slowly starting to see action down there. Over on the Italian side, it's still way too early for the Grand Jurassic Traverse, but the Don de Gion and the Rossport Arets are in good condition, again, when the weather allows. So they can sink with sense. Of course, all the classic easy routes, the Marbres, the Entrevs, they've seen lots of action too. The Ronde, the Moyna Mal up there, that sees some action. Earlier in the season, North Face was skied, so I expect it's actually pretty good conditions for climbing right now. Although I guess I'll find out a bit later when I see across there. It's probably too late now for the little Durba Suta Couloir on the tour runs, but you never know. The Kufna Arete has seen plenty of ascents in this last weather window. Indeed, one team even started from the valley bottom in Chamonix, hiked up to the Pandergui, climbed the Mallory Porter, which has got a good boot track in it now as well, walked down and across, climbed the Kufna Arete, and back down for the lift, which is absolutely crazy. Massive effort. 
but it just goes to show that when the weather is actually stable enough, the snow is in good condition now to be doing big alpine objectives. The mixed routes over on the tackle triangle, they're all seeing plenty of action. So Contamine Grizel, Contamine Mezud, um, which is very cool work, it's climbing all the time, whatever the conditions, but I'm sure that's reasonable condition now as well. Twelve months still being skied mostly, but people are starting to do it on crampons now too. Again, when the weather allows and the weather windows are big enough. The big west face of Mont Blanc is still getting action on skis too. Ross Stewart and Clay Manners did yet another first descent down there. And there's been some there's been repeats of some rare lines as well. So yeah, conditions on the big west face are still still good. Grand Moulet, of course, still being skied as well. Although the approach to Grand Moulet out now is getting more, more difficult. The junction is getting chaotic and you have to take your skis on and off several times on the traverse as well. So yeah. It's getting to the point where it's now beginning to be harder on skis and probably easier on foot, but not quite there yet. People are also starting to do the Moyna Mal via the, the Guta route. Although again, lots of snow on the approach it makes the approach up to the huts hard going as well. But yeah, it also makes the Grand Cool and that section safer, so swings around the As for the Igui route on the other side, there's very little action yet, but now the lifts are open, that should start to increase rapidly. Still tons of snow on all the approaches, so even though it is lower down, it's still got a big alpine feel. So you're going to need action crampons to get to a lot of the rock routes, and a lot of the routes up there will have a little bit of mixed feel as well. So, great place to practice for the alpine skills, and I imagine a lot of the alpine beginner skills courses will be used in that side because it's still tons of snow. So, some of the easy traversing routes feel like a big alpine route, even though they're just little scrambles. Stuff's slowly starting to get done in the Igui Rouge, but still possible to ski as well. Fairly recently, someone was skiing some technical steep descents on the north and east faces of various routes on the Igui Rouge side, which is pretty crazy to be skiing that in June. All the rock routes on the Pan de la Guise side, just down here. Again, lots of snow on the approaches, which in some instances makes it easier, but you're going to need axe and crampons, which can be a bit heavier pack. Some of the routes higher up are going to have snow on their ledges as well, but lower down. As long as you've had a couple of days of good sun, it's going to be dry. So things like Papillon Arette will be possible, Red Pillar of the Blatier, etc. So that's a, pretty much a roundup of everything that's been going on right now recently, over the last few days. What to expect over the next week or so. So yeah, still very much in transition season, but slowly getting towards some alpine season now. Less people are on skis, more people are on foot. But as I said, I've been home for too long, so I'm here to ski today. Face of the Torrand. I can see a pair, a party, a team of two on the right hand edge of the upper snowfield. You won't be able to make them out on the GoPro, but I can show you they're there. I can't see any skis on the back, so I think they're just climbing it today. You can kind of faintly make out what looks like ski tracks that come down the north face right from the apex. They've been filled in from this last snowfall, but it looks like people were skiing it the previous weather window we had. I know I said that it's too late in the season now for the Jervis City probably, but there is a pair actually heading over to it quite speculatively. One more guy further around as well. Don't know what the conditions they'll find, but I imagine it's too hot, too hot today. So hopefully they'll turn back. But yeah, beautiful up here, absolutely spectacular. Loads of teams over on the entrebs. Skis and on foot. Good boot track up the Giza Tool and Petit Flambeau. You can't see it, but I can assure you, there's loads of people over on the Marbres as well. And just about make out a track hanging up to Don de Gion as well with. At least one team of three heading their way up towards the approach couloir. So in other words, busy, busy, busy. And this is the condition of the rock and the Grand Capuchin area. The Grand Capuchin up there. So you can still, there's still quite a lot of snow on some of the ledges, but many of the rock routes are actually dry. So assuming you can actually get here on foot, which would be hard work. Some of the climbing routes will go, especially the ones a little bit lower down. 